up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, going to finish out the Sultans of Swing solo. So uh, let's zoom in and break it down. Here we go. All right, we're going to break this down uh, by little phrases. So let's start with the first phrase. So we're going to bend the 12th fret of the G string. And obviously, Knopfler's using his fingers, mostly the, the thumb and the index kind of thing. So however you can do it, if you use a pick, fine. If you want to try to do the fingers like I'm doing, that's, you know, going to be more authentic. So 12th fret, and then it comes back down. So you're bending it up a whole step. And then 10, 12 on that same string. So that's all the G string. And then 10, and then the root, which is 12 on the D. Goes back to that G string, 12th fret. So a whole step bend, and then bum bum, natural, B bum bum. From the top. So bum, bum, bum. And then you're going to stretch back to the ninth fret and do a hammer on between the 9 and 12 on the G. So. Then a hammer on pull off between the 7 and 9. Then 5 and 7. And then 5 and 7 on the D, then 5 and 7 on the A. And then I'm hearing a subtle little, and I don't know if that's the rhythm guitar, but it fits right with the chord, so you can hit that 3rd fret A string. So, So the next lick starts on the 10 of the B, and then 12, 10 on the G, back to 12, then 10, then that root, 12 of D. From the top. New lick. Now we're going to get into this little C triad shape, which is 9 on the G with middle finger, and then 8 on the B and high E. And we start with that G note. So there's this little thing that's going on here, kind of a country thing. Slides to that 9 on the G, and then you're going to hit that 8 of the B, and it's going to hammer on pull off on the 10 of the B, and then back to the G. So I'm going. And after the first one, It doubles up on the high E on the eighth. So you have this little move. Uh, broom, da, be, a, boo. And then now double. And it goes by pretty fast, so it's going to be easier to go. 
but it kind of sounds like a, a where you're doing that twice. Da, de, da, da. So that's B and high E. Then ring goes to, while I'm still holding that chord shape, ring finger goes to 10 of the B, and then off, and then thumb hits G. So. What goes by so fast, you could just. So that last one is. Okay, from the top, slow. Next slick. New thing. One of my favorite licks in the song. So we're going to start with that 12th fret G, then 10 on B, 10 on high E. I'm going thumb, thumb, index, however you can do it. Then I'm going to do a pull off between the 13 and the 10 on the B. And then I'm landing on the 12 of the G. So we have to do this little So it's kind of a pre-bend on that 12 of the G. Pull off to 10, ring finger on 12 of the D right there. Now we're going to do a little lick like this. So I'm hammering on from 10 to 12 on the D. Then I go over to the 10 of the G. And then with my index, I'm grabbing 10 of the B. And then I'm grabbing the 12 of the G. So we're going to go, it kind of rakes into it. I'm not good at it. I'm, I'm dragging my thumb over the muted strings and then with my thumb. And then I'm grabbing with my index the 10 of the B. Oops, crap. So I'm hitting 10, 10 of the B. 11 of the B, and then from, you hear it natural, whole step bend, and then I'm grabbing 12 of the high E. And then you hit it again, bent up, and hear it come back down. And then you're gonna grab the 10th fret of the high E, but you're going to kind of want to grab the B as well, even the G a little bit, because we're going to go into this. Right? So we have to get ready for that. So check it out. Uh, 
Now we go 10 on B, 11 on B with middle finger, and now this bend thing. All right, so now here, here we get to this fast flurry part. I'm doubling up with my index finger. I believe he doubles up with his thumb. I just practiced it so much the way I'm doing it. So I'll leave it up to you, but we're gonna start with this little index finger on the 10th fret of the high E and B. And we're gonna pull off from the 13 of the high E. So then you hear that, you know, 10 ring out. So, and then you hit the B string with your thumb. And then he would go back to the high E with his thumb. Uh, and alternate by doing two with the thumb and one with the index. I'm doing one with the thumb, two with the index. So I'm going, um, just look at my right hand here. So I just went high E, pull off and then 10 of B, then I go back to the high E. So. And check it out when I repeat it. So then you have to go like this. So you're just doing the exact same thing with the right hand. Middle finger gets added to the 11th fret of the B string, so. And then you have to move that up a whole step. And then a quick. 10 of the B and high E into the move again. So. So check out this transition. See that? So it does the little B high E on the 10th fret and then goes into it again. And then after that second time, it just ends right there. So then we're almost there. Let's go back to the top. Now 15 high E, bend up a whole step, hear it come back down, then 13, 15 on the high E, 13, 15 on the B. Really the exact same lick as the first lick. 
just an octave up. And even this part's the same. So bum, bum, bum on that 15 bend. Then hammer on pull off between 12 and 15. Then hammer on pull off between 13 and 15 on the B. So. Then the same uh, hammer on pull off move between 10 and 13. Then between the 9 and 12 on the G. And then you grab that C note right there, which is 10 of the D. And now you're back into the, you know. there was the lesson thanks again you guys for the support i really really appreciate it uh, feel free to leave your requests in the comments below and we'll see you guys again real soon take care uh.